what you would like to do first is using the flat of your hand, go ahead and move from the baby's upper back down toward baby's bottom, one hand at a time. You're going to repeat that about five to seven times. Then you're going to go ahead and come at the lower part of the baby's back, about at the diaper line, and gently press inward as you pull down from the top. This is definitely going to give baby the cue to extend baby's back. Now let's go the opposite way. One hand at a time, moving upward from the baby's bottom toward the baby's shoulders. And then you can add going down from the baby's bottom toward the legs at the same time as you go up toward the shoulders. This will invite baby to flex his spine. Both movements are very important. Now you're going to go ahead and take two fingers and make small circles down along one side of the spine and up along the other. You will be on the side of baby's spine. Then reverse directions and make small circles down and back up. Next, you'll make larger circles down along one side of the spine and back up. And then reverse down, making the larger circles and back up. The next thing we'll do are X's. So you'll start in the center of the spine and separate your hands to the shoulder and opposite hip. When you get to the end, you want to give a gentle shake or rock. This will stimulate the proprioceptive system, helping your baby know that this movement is safe. Gentle rock there. Again, you can repeat each movement about five to seven times, gently rocking at the end and then return back to strokes down from the shoulders toward the bottom, followed by movements from the bottom up toward the shoulders. And that is our back sequence. You can end with a gentle stroke telling baby that we're all finished.